Isaiah chapter 24, verse 13. When thus it shall be in the midst of the land, land of Palestine, what we just read, previous 1 to 12, no, no production of vineyards, no wine, no alcohol, among the people, there shall be as a shaking of an olive tree, and as the gleaning of grapes when the vengeance is done. At the end of the harvest, you're going out there shaking the tree to get the very last. Uh, this would be the story of Ruth. The, the, uh, the poor people of the land would go out and get what the harvesters didn't get. The very top of the trees, the very gleanings. And that was allowed in the law. They shall lift up their voice. They shall sing for majesty of the Lord. They shall cry aloud from the sea. There was a time no crops. Now there's a the crops. That's the tribulation period. The time of, of there's no water, there's blood, there's, there's just all kinds of havoc. Trees are dying. And in the millennium, Jesus Christ comes, removes the curse, and gives us the blessing. Wherefore, glorify ye the Lord in the fires, even the name of the Lord God of Israel in the isles of the sea. From the uttermost part of the earth have we heard songs, even the glory to the righteous. But I said, my lenience. There's no food. On the other side of the earth, there's glad and great tidings and goodness and happiness. But what we just read last night, there's no harvesting. My lenience, no food. Woe unto me, the treacherous dealers. That will be Revelation chapter 18 and also the beginning of the chapters. What we began dealt treacherously. Yea, the treacherous dealers have done very treacherously. And that's for Revelation chapter 18. Listen, the tribulation period is not going to be a party. Fear. Anxiety. No Holy Spirit. And think about, let's look at that first word, fear, anxiety. Okay? Now let's look at the tribulation period for a moment with fear. You can't go to the, any store to get medicine unless you have the mark. You can't go to any doctor, any emergency room, any clinic without the mark. You can't get any over-counter or any prescription drugs for fear. Unless you receive the mark. And there's coming a period of time when the bees have, they have the tails as scorpion and they strike a man, whether they, I forget, three or six months, that they're going to desire death. And death is not going to happen. It's going to be a period of time that they're going to go into the stores if they have the mark and they're going to go to the to the water section. They're going to get themselves a bottle of water and it's going to be blood. They're going to go down to the beach on the vacation and blood's going to wash up on the shore. And you're going to have the trumpets, the vials, the seals, and the woes. Fear. And the pit and the snare, those are traps. A pit is a hole dug and they lay grass and, and twigs and, and branches over it. So when you walk over it, you fall into a deep hole. A snare is when you put a rope out in a pathway. And when, the, when the animal catches his paw, he's swung up. But it's not for an animal. Are upon thee, O habitant of the earth, males, humans, and shall come to pass that he who flees from the noise of fear, <gasps> oh, I gotta run. The, 
the, the television set says run, the news says run, we gotta run. Shall fall into the pit. You got snared, you got trapped. And he that cometh out of the out up out of the midst of the pit shall be taken in snare. It's only gonna get worse. The tribulation periods is going to be a, this anxiety trips and pitfalls and and all these people think, oh, you know, I play video game things. Like, there ain't going to be no video game. There ain't going to be no video game. And that's what some of these video games, you know, Mario Brothers and all that, you jump over this and you jump over that and Donkey Kong and you jump over the barrel and all that and, and you, you're not going to survive. And you get, and if you do make it to the seven years of tribulation period, and you get the mark, and Jesus Christ comes and casts you off as a goat into hell, the noise of fear, media. I mean, the media today is sparking fear. Everybody says fake news, fake news, fake news, but then they quote the fake news. I seen it today. You know, everybody say, oh, CNN says this, CNN, blah, 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 and ABC and all this news agency. And now to defend their their old president, well, this media says, you know, wait a minute, you just said two months ago that media outlet was fake news. Now it supports your man. Well, now it's good news. Man, turn off the television. Open the Bible. For the windows from on high are open. The windows on high with one of the kings of Israel, it brought blessings of an invading army that left by fear. The windows on heaven were high were opened up during Noah's time and all just rain and floods and and, and torments and earthquakes just struck the entire planet. And the foundations of the earth do shake. A massive earthquake. And at the end of the tribulation period, with the seals and the trumpets and all that, there's a massive earthquake. The earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean dissolved. Look at that. Clean dissolved. It's cleaned out. Now we've jumped from the tribulation period. We've jumped all the way to between the end of the millennium and the great white throne judgment. Where some say the big bang, but the big bang is yet to come. Utterly broken and clean dissolved. There is no human race. The Christians have gone off to glory already. Seven years tribulation. Jesus Christ comes back with the church, gathers Israel. Everybody's all gathered up. There's not a person left on the earth. All the animals that are left, they're just wiped out. Never mind saving the whales, the manatees, and the cockroaches and all that. Cockroaches won't survive. Everything that's on the earth and every ore of the earth. That's everything to be of ore, and ore that has not been processed will be eliminated. Peter says a fervent heat. The elements shall, shall melt. And the earth is moved exceedingly. The orbit of the earth, and, and the Bible says, shall roll up as a scroll. It shall depart. It shall flee at the face of God. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard. That's all eternity. Now, nothing is completely annihilated. There's always a residue. And the residue of the heavens and earth, there are just, just vapors. Everything that man put their stock on, just vapors, just fleeing from the presence of God. And shall be removed like a cottage. Simple and easy. It's simple. And the transgression 
There shall be heavy upon it every weight, every sin, and the curse to devour the land. It shall fall and not rise again. There's your Mother Earth. There is the outcome of Mother Earth. Utter destruction. And then the Bible says, New Jerusalem and new heavens and the new earth. Second Advent. Second Advent, we just seen the end of the Mother Earth. And now we're going to Second Advent. Man, the, the second advent put here, the tribulation put here, some place in the church age put here, some of the first advent put there. <coughs> and shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high and the kings of the earth on earth. There's two, there's two classes of people there. Now, if you don't rightly divide, you don't believe the Bible, you're going to mess up there. Who are the high ones? Well, they're rulers. No, that's the kings. Paul calls them principalities, devils, in high places. The fallen angels. Those are the ones that came down in Genesis and made it with the human being. Oh, I don't believe in them. Well, then you, you, mess, you don't know what the Bible says. Principality and powers in high places, the Bible says. There they are. Oh, well, it's the rule. Then the kings of the earth. High ones that are on high. Where? Where your space shuttles and your astronauts go. Where man's not supposed to go. You know, where dragon and space X. Watch out for the words that end with X. You know, you may have something happen in the Bible, and this, you don't have to believe this, but I'm going to throw it out there. I'm going to throw it out there. You ready? Hey, come here. Didn't we send three astronauts out? Yeah, we sent three of them. Well, look, look at it. The capsule opened up, and I see four. And he's liking the son of son of man. That Antichrist is going to be liking the son of man. And then maybe they'll be held him by his feet. What's that great noise I just heard? That's the church saying, bye. Now, you don't have to believe that. I kind of have to believe it. But hasn't history repeat itself? Won't history repeat itself? I mean, don't you have to come through the fire of the earth? You have to build your instruments because because it's great flames. But you're not going to go to hell if you don't believe that. I just threw it out there. They shall be gathered together, millennium, <laughs> as prisoners are gathered in the pit. Now, these are the goats. And shall be shut up in the prison where the goats go. After many days shall they be visited. The great white throne judgment. Then the moon shall be confounded. And the sun ashamed. When the Lord of hosts shall reign in Mount Zion. Second Advent. And in Jerusalem. And before his ancients gloriously. That's the second advent. Man, look, look at that verse. Look at that chapter. Destruction of the earth. Second advent. <coughs> In the millennium. And goat nations going to hell. That's the Bible. You got to rightly divide. Study. <laughs>